Folks, this special broadcast of AEAC wouldn't have been possible without the support of Air Guns of Arizona, Air Gun Depot, Pyramid Air, and JSB Predator International. And you know the best way to thank them. All right, so my apologies. I'm going to wear Tony out today because, you know. Day one, I'm still I, living. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed to say it. You know, the, I mean, they stayed in Brocock. I mean, this is, these are companies that, that make air guns in world-class fashion. And I know not everyone has had an opportunity to experience one, but that they truly are, have so much polish to them. And, and it really translates into user experience for, for, uh, for the shooter. But uh, wanted to ask Tony for sure about this because it looks different than a gun that I have had some experience with, and, and that's the Daystate Pulsar, which you guys have probably seen the video, but this looks similar to that, but it's not a Pulsar. That's right. Tony, what is this right. thing? Well, this is a hybrid. This a hybrid, a okay. Hybrid. This is a, a conventional, in, in so much as any Daystate's conventional, a pre-charged rifle using a hammer and a spring, and uh, it's a conventional fire mechanism for day state. Okay. But we've combined with it, with, when you do bullpup style rifles, you have to move the trigger link forward. When you move the trigger forward, mm -hmm. you lose something. You lose the feel of the trigger. Because yeah, because of that push rod that's, that's, push that's in there. And uh, it, it's not so bad on military spec rifles where you've got a, you know, like something like a 12 pound trigger pull. Yeah. Um, because you're, you just junk it off, you just hammer it through. Right. But you can still feel it. You try an SA-80, the trigger's awful. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons for that is they mixed an Armalite style trigger with that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so your your you, hiney was ringing. <laughs> <laughs> she said it on vibrate so next time and <laughs> at least enjoy it. <laughs> so you've got some. Um, that trigger linkage can add, and when you've got a match rifle or match rifle style, mm -hmm. and you're trying to move a match rifle from the back to the front, mm -hmm. you can lose an awful lot. And you can have a woolly trigger or a trigger which is unsafe. If you give it a good old whack, uh, you know, on a, something like a pound trigger, it can fire the rifle. Let me pause Tony here because not everyone, I don't want to take for granted that everybody knows yeah. what we're talking about. You know, this is a different type of shooting platform. Firearms, air guns, you know, they have another type of shooting platform which is called a bullpup and what a bullpup does is it takes the action you know all the the trigger mechanism the cycling of the bolt mechanism all those things and it, that. yeah and it, and it takes it from forward and it moves it rearward closer to the shooter's cheek in the name of getting a more compact shooting platform and what Tony's trying to share with us is when the triggers up here and the mechanisms back here there's normally a push rod that lives in here and some of that sensitivity and feel gets lost in there that's in exactly translation, right, and, and that's the idea. That's right. So with a, a, the bullpup style, the compromise is usually cost and engineering. You're putting a lot more engineering in, and if you're not careful, your ergonomics go out the window as well. Right. Yeah. So what we've done here is we've added a solenoid firing system onto the conventional trigger. So electronic. So electronic. So okay. Then we have an electronic trigger. Mm -hmm. Now the pulse you shot was an electronic rifle. But we've taken the electronic trigger off the pulsar, okay. and we've combined it with a solenoid that fires a conventional mechanical trigger. Mm -hmm. And that way, we're able to get the best of both worlds, because the advantage on the mechanical system is actually a slightly higher power. You can only get so much power out really? of the electronic system, okay. we can get more out of the mechanical system. Okay. It's also slightly cheaper to build, so we're able to drop the sure. price uh, considerably on the Renegade compared okay. to the very expensive Pulsar. Okay, two things bef before you go on. One, the trigger. I do want to touch on it. If you haven't seen the video, check it out on AEAC, but I've done a full review on the Daystate Pulsar. The trigger is phenomenal. And segueing into power, I noticed that this is longer That's right. than the Pulsar. So what's going on? Well, this little baby, she's a, a, a 303 caliber, 30 caliber. 30 caliber, uh, may I? Yep, there you are. 30 caliber Renegade, all right. So you've got 30 caliber here. Mm -hmm. You've got the electronic trigger here. So this one's set at eight ounces. So eight ounces. Eight ounces on a 30 caliber air gun. All right, yeah. that sounds good. Yeah. And uh, you've got an electronic trigger. And this one has got the air in, there's the safety. Uh, I can bounce that around all day, that will never fire. It's mm -hmm. an eight ounce trigger, you know, mm -hmm. um, but when I take the safety catch off, I'm firing. So I guess, and if you guys don't know this at home, 
the, the con to setting your trigger so light so that things are smoother for us when we play with an air gun is you do risk. If you drop that gun, if you bump it in, into an oak tree, you know, that can go off on you. Yeah. You know, it's one, one thing if you shoot a 177 pellet into your hiney, you know, when you're walking through the woods, but if you do it with a, thir a 303? A 303. 303. This is 80 foot pounds. Stand by, you're going to fit 80 yeah. foot pounds. Yeah. So there's a safety advantage a safety to this. Advantage. We could also build in electronic safety so the gun won't fire when it's cocked. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, now, with the bolt open, it won't fire from an open bolt. Yep. Excellent. So we've got all these extra features. It won't double load because we've got a cutout on the magazine as well mm -hmm. to sort that out. There's a 30 caliber hole for you. So Good you lord. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So we've got all that in the air gun. This is putting out a 50 grain pellet. And he's a pellet because it loses energy quite quickly. So it's, it's quite dangerous out to about 100, 150 yards. Okay. And then it starts to drop because it tumbles as a pellet. So it's made for pellets. It's made for pellets. So I'm guessing Soft Lothar, Lothar Walther. 99% lead, uh, very thin skirted. The deformation on them is quite incredible. Okay. It's a very lethal round for small game. So choked Lothar, Lothar Walther barrel, That's I'm guessing. Correct, of course, in yes. made for pellets. Uh, 23 inch long barrel in there that gives us that extra power. Wow. Now, you know, we live in a world of skeptics, yes. right? I mean, big surprise. So right now someone is sitting at home in their living room watching this on YouTube yep. and they're thinking to themselves, ah, electronic trigger, I don't know. That's going to fail on me when I need it most. You know, what, what, would you say, what would you say to them? Well, you know, electronic things, they either work or they don't. And if when, they, when they work and they leave the factory, generally speaking, they stay they working. Work. Yeah. Uh, we, um, we have a flat battery. It has a battery. It has a, a little 9-volt battery, you know, the little smoke tick light yep. thing. Uh, we guarantee it for 14,000 shots, something That's like that. That's the next question. I'm sure they're thinking, uh, how long is the battery so going to last? if you do 14,000 in, in a week, then good luck. You have to wow, change the that's a lot. That, that's a lot. We think it's probably going to make it through to the first service at three years with a battery change. But it oh. takes seconds to change the battery out. You can buy one at the gas station, put another one in. Yeah, sure. Uh, and it has a flat battery warning tone. Not that anybody's yet heard it. We did some trials at the factory. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when we got to 14,000, they said, that's enough. It wasn't actually flat. That was just where we okay. where we gave up. Now, <laughs> I'm going to put Tony on the spot. I don't know if you can answer this or, yeah. may, or you know, if even sure. you're comfortable, but you know, my job is to help answer questions for these guys. Okay. And you know, immediately, the, this is a hunter's rifle. That's right. Very powerful, yeah. large bore, meant to kill, yeah. large game. They're going to be taking it out in the woods and hunting with it in real life conditions. Mm -hmm. What happens if it starts to rain outside? You can put this. You can put this in the puddle. Never mind. That's right. They are completely waterproof. I have a swimming pool at home, and I am not afraid well, to test we this. We did one in the swimming pool. <laughs> we put a, with one of the early electronic rifles. We put it at the bottom of the swimming pool, and I actually I used to get so fed up. People saying, "What if it rains?" Yeah. It's Britain. What, what if it's dry? <laughs> you know, it's okay. never dry. Never dry in that part of the we, world. We, when we first or warm. It, it's, it's now 12 years since we did our first electronic air rifle, and 12 years ago, I can remember. Not worrying about the rain, but what happens when it saw sunshine? Because uh, I think we did the gun in the wettest winter for 14 mm -hmm. years on development, and we've had 12 years of practice with electronic air guns ever since. Okay, they so it's not like you're just figuring this no, out. No, 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 we've got this. All right, so water, not an issue. You heard it directly from yeah. them, guys. No need Actually, to worry. Another important point is, yeah, face state rifles are designed to be weatherproof. Uh, you know, if you uh, in the shotgun world, if you get your rifle wet and it corrodes, you're on your own, aren't you? Right. Uh, we treat this as a consumer product. So we make it um, basically soldier proof. We build okay. in um, anodized aluminium. We use coatings everywhere. Sometimes we use uh, a material called Nitrotech, which is a corrosion proof resistant used yeah. in the car industry. We use special finishes called EX10 on the, on the cylinders so they don't corrode. This, this gun is not designed to be fill stripped. You give it a wipe over when you get home. You, you know, dry it out as best you can, put it in a cupboard to dry it. That's all it needs. It's not designed to require serviceability. You might put a bit of or grease on the bolt once a year or mm -hmm. so, that'd mm -hmm. be nice. You know, but that's all you need to do. You shoot them, dry them off, put them in the cupboard, and the next time you need to worry about it is when you take it out again. It's, it's no, that's the great thing about shooting an air gun over something like a, a firearm, mm -hmm. where you're cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and it's a well, bit monotonous. Well, it's, it's interesting yeah. Tony says this because, you know, for me, an air gunner, one of the things I enjoy is taking care yeah. of my toy. And I think most of us are going to do that. We're going to take care of it. And bottom line, end of the day, if you just use some common sense and take care of this, even if you get it wet, it's, it's going to last you for, for a long, long time. Fantastic. Okay. Did I ever show you this, Steve? I, did, I didn't, but before you get going on that, I do have one more question. Sure. And I promise it's the last question, <laughs> but I don't want to get home and, 
you know, these guys are going to comment, why didn't you ask this? Why didn't you ask that? You know, my adrenaline's flowing being here with this guy, and he's kind of a legend in the air gun industry here in the AOA booth, so I just don't want to forget. But one thing that did come to mind, it's a 303. It's a large bore. It's for hunting big game. Yeah. You know, it's not a 177 plinker. Shot count? Uh, well, it's about uh, 80 foot pounds of energy. It'll, it'll do 18 shots. What? Yeah. 18 shots? 18 shots. At 80 foot pounds of energy. Five shot magazine. So you get now one at one at like mags. 200 feet per second, and the next one at like no, absolutely so. flat. You wouldn't notice the difference. Your 18 shots going to go through the same hole as your first shot. That's amazing. It's only on the 90 thing. That's all right. Well, that's yeah. pretty exciting. <laughs> Super. All right, you had something in your pocket. Yeah, well, I had something here which I thought would be interesting. It's um, it's a new uh, MTC Optics is another one of our brands, another yep. one of our companies. Yeah, I messed up the name earlier. I meant to say. Uh, I, I said Mamba and I meant to say Viper. Viper, Viper yeah. that's it. Well, this is, um, this is a, a, one of our Rapier series laser rangefinders. Nothing new about laser rangefinders, they're everywhere. Right, but I use them the, every day on the, right. the show. And this is a pretty standard pack package. But what we've got in here is a Bluetooth. And uh, everything's better with Bluetooth, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, there's a Bluetooth module in here which feeds back to an app. And you download the app from either the Google Play Store or okay. from, the, uh, from the Apple Store. That's what was going crazy in yeah, your back pocket got, earlier. It was trying to tell me that it wanted to connect to my... <laughs> <laughs> trying on, to tell you it wanted to come out and out, play so it. that you guys yeah, could enjoy it, it too. Uh, so it comes with a uh, free app to download and uh, the app's got, you can enter your ballistic data. So you, you know, you, you go online, you use ballistic data apps and you get your trajectory and amount of clicks. Mm -hmm. And that's in here, very handy. Very cool. But it connects to the laser in here. So when I fire the laser in here, mm -hmm. so what should happen is... Um, it's talking. It's talking. And it will. We get the mic right up there. Oh, that's cool. It does yeah. all. It takes all the guesswork out. Yeah. You don't have to refer to a little pad of paper. You don't have to refer to the turret at the top of your you scope. You can either have it on speaker, which it does automatically through your, uh, your device, or you can put the Bluetooth earpiece, which comes with it, mm -hmm. into your ear and then it will just tell you what you need to do on your scope. And you can put in your, any information you like. You can put in minutes of angle, clicks, uh, range, elevation, fields of view, windage. You can program this in here, very simple to use. Very cool. Now, gives you. now if you had a buddy in and out shooting, mm -hmm. you could have one guy lasering the target. Yeah, maybe a, you know, like a sniper animal. team. Uh, and then the other one, here's it in his ear, and adjust. And you're oh, ready to go. that is Bang. so cool. You guys obviously put a lot of thought and heart into that. Wow. Well, did we forget anything? No, I think we pretty much. We turned this booth upside down, another, inside out. Know, oh, there's a couple of new ones over there, but we'll <laughs> leave that for another day. You know? I need, I need to take a break, or I'm going to pass out here. But Tony, you've been great. Thank you Thank so you much for much, spending Steve. so much time with us. Cheers. And um, appreciate you much. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, day three, Thursday, guys. I had some unfinished business here at Day State Brocock MTC, and part of that was with Jeff Reinhardt of MTC optics so i wanted to circle back and definitely spend some time with this man he's over the brand for basically the united states or right, north america yep. and um, the reason why i wanted to make a stop here for you guys and for me too is this is a line of optics if i may sure. that um, is definitely synonymous with the quality we've come to expect out of day state and brocock and it's all basically one big family they're all part of the same company so i'm sure um you guys are probably doing some new things for 2017. We are. Yeah, uh, if you could, okay, cool. Well, if you could, Jeff, I'm reading here Viper Pro. If you could just tell everyone at home what's going on here, what makes the scope special, and what makes it different? What's special about this is the Viper Pro. It's going to have 6x magnification, so you get a, a big range. They come from 3 to 18 power, okay. or all, all the way up to a 5 to 30 power. Okay. What makes it special is the smart range turret. Okay. What they did is they put a gearbox in here. All right, I'm just going to hold that up while you talk about it so everyone can see that. So, Three to one gearbox, and there's going to be a smart ranging window here. So as you turn, you can see your MOA come up in this window. And you don't have to worry about going around too many times and getting lost and not returning back. Fantastic. Now, I, could, I couldn't quite see it from here. If you could do that again, it looks like it's almost like gear driven. Right, correct. It's a three to one ratio. Oh, very cool. It allows you to take this cap off, mm -hmm. you can pull out this collar, put your own custom tape on. Mm -hmm. So you're just dialing to your own yardage. So 10 yards, 20 yards, 30 yards. You can customize this to your gun. Very, very cool. If you can't see the numbers, there's a magnifier built in right back here. For us old blind guys. Right, like, <laughs> like, my, like myself. Very cool. What else is going on here? What else is going on is you got a lever down here. Mm -hmm. You can lock it. Okay, so we can lock it in place. You can click it. Mm -hmm. 
or you can three spin. Get there even faster. Very cool. So we got a little three position toggle down there. Very nice. All right, what's going on here over on the side? Push button illumination. Okay, great. Three steps. Three red, only the crosshairs. Crosshairs in red. Okay, cool. Um, back here, uh, magnetic covers. Okay. So you don't have to worry about wearing out. Magnetic sometimes, covers. Sometimes there's little pins that wear out. They yeah. Those are going to be magnetic, and there's uh, four positions. All right, so talk to me about that. So there's magnets inside the uh, joint here? It's going to be uh, down here in the base. Right? Okay. So it's going to stay close. Oh, I see. So I, I think what Jeff's saying, if I'm if I'm reading you right, is there's no spring in here to break or right. wear out over time. Right. And if I just, that kind of holds it in place there. That kind of holds it in place there. Nice. That is very cool. That's, That's the stuff I'm talking about. Very cool. You know, you see those kinds of things in these lines of air rifles. Right. It's just so nice to see it transcend into the scopes as well. What's going on over here on this side? Same thing as the Same top? Thing. You can lock. Okay. Uh, obviously, you don't need a, a range window okay. on the windage, but you still can lock it. Okay. So it's got the three position selector switch there. And typical side focus, 10 yards to infinity. Okay, 10 yards to infinity, good. Side uh, side lever, or side uh, joist, uh, side dial, parallax. Guys, I'm wearing down. It's yeah, been some long yeah. days Day three, here at Shot. Day three. All right. And what's the magnification once again? 3 to 18, okay. 5 to 30. So we're doing a 3 to 18 and a 5 to 30. And if you don't like all the gizmos, they come out with a Mamba Pro. A Mamba Pro. Okay, this is the Viper Pro, the Mamba Pro. It will be standard low profile turrets. Okay. Same size. Now, can you talk a little bit about your Viper Connect? Do you have one here? I do. And the reason I've asked him to do this is this is a scope I've just begun to start playing with. And for me, what's so cool about it, especially for a hunter, is it gives you such a wide field of view. It does. Right? It does. So, just if you could just show the guys and gals at home and take them through it and Definitely let them know what's going on here. Oh, I'm going to bring this back just a little okay. bit. There you go. Um, it's a low eye relief scope. Okay. So your eye, your eye is going to be right here, like oh. looking through the binoculars. All right. And with that, you get this double field of view. So it's a great hunting scope for quick target action. Okay, so you're saying the brain kind of combines the image, left eye, right eye. And you can see what's going on right. around you, so and you get a wider view. Right, exactly. Very okay. cool. 3 to 12, okay. um, 11 steps illumination with a push button on and off. Very cool. Um, built in cover. Okay, yeah. Just to set your eye relief, this is a twisting light cover. Okay, now there's an accessory that came with mine. I'm guessing it comes with this too. It's the uh, yes, cover. A rubber eyepiece. Rubber eyepiece. It kind of gets right up against your cheekbone and eyebrow and basically blocks out any light or glare. I've enjoyed playing with it. It's a great scope. It is. Very cool. Anything else we want to talk about here and show the show, uh, show the guys and gals at home? This should be available about March or April. Okay. It's going to be a, a new rangefinder. Okay. What's cool about it? It's a 6x magnification. Okay. It's um, going to connect to your phone via right. Bluetooth with software. All right. So there'll be an app for it available. An app already up iPhone and Android. Yes. Okay. Um, so you click the button. It's going to give you how many clicks you need, it's clicks, MOA, or mills, however you program, so uh -huh. you put in your ballistic data. Okay. It also comes with an earpiece, so it'll talk to you if you don't have your phone. Wow, that's really cool. So if I'm solo, I can have the Bluetooth in. If I'm hunting, that's going to be important because it's not like I want that on speakerphone right. on my cell. Or what would be really cool is if you had a buddy with you, right? right? right. And Jeff could be over here. We could be like a little sniper, exactly. sniper, uh, uh, sni sniper SEAL team. So you could be shooting distance over here, getting the information in your ear, relaying it over me next. that's next to you. We can be ma making those adjustments on the turret. That is some cool, cool thinking. Um, kind of a goofy question, and I don't know if you know the answer to it. But the app is it is it free or do you have to buy it once? It's free. It's going to come downloadable. Cool. Very, very cool. Are we leaving anything out? Oh, the range tape. You can make to customize your range tape. There's software available online at mtcoptics.com. Talk a little bit more about that because um, everyone at home might not know so really what that is and what that means. You want to customize your tape. I'm going to hold this this way just so they can see it. Go ahead. So if you take this apart, you want to customize your tape for okay. your gun. You okay. can go to the website and there'll be software. You can plug in your ballistic data. It will have put the numbers on the tape for you. Okay. You can print it off, cut it out. How cool is that? That's just downright thoughtful. You guys are bad to the bone. Jeff, thanks for spending time with me today. MTC Optics, guys, give them a look. Got some really nice stuff.